washing dishes. This really is not what I had in mind when I decided to propose. Well, the boys were so excited they could not go to sleep without finishing their hot chocolate. Besides, everyday activities can be very reassuring on such a special day. Why? Because it makes you feel that things will uh, be the same after all? Yeah, there will always be dishes to be washed. But Mrs. Glenn Morley washing them is not the same as Katie Holstrom washing them. Now that we are really engaged, I can't imagine what took me so long. Well, it does not matter. You were in no danger of losing me. I wasn't? Mm -mm. I've been secretly engaged to you for a long time. Secretly? Yeah, secretly from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mom and Papa will be so happy. Oh, it's very late, but maybe we should call them and tell them. Katie, I think your father's the kind of man who would not like to be told that his daughter's getting married. I think he'd like to have someone ask for her hand. Oh, he yeah. Could we ask them to come here for a visit? I've got a better idea. Why don't we visit them on the farm? I know they've both been looking forward to this for a long time. That's wonderful. But when? Well, what's wrong with tomorrow morning? I've got the whole weekend. I don't have to be back in Washington till Monday. I'll see what I can do for reservations. Oh, Mr. Morley, you are uh, the most... Uh, and calling you Mr. Morley is going to be a difficult habit to break. And calling you Mrs. Morley is going to be a marvelous habit to develop. Oh, Mr. Morley. I think I can help you break that habit. Every time you call me Mr. Morley, I'll just stop you. Like that. Really, Mr. Morley? I don't think Mr. Morley. I don't think Mr. Morley. Papa, for my hand. Thank you. Well, it's not bad for us, either. This plane ride will give us at least a few hours to ourselves. We do have a whole future to plan, you know. Yeah, we do. Can't wait to see Papa's face when you ask him. I hope your brothers will approve of me. Oh, they will. And Mama will cry. Uh, care for a nice magazine? Uh, no, nothing to read, thank you. But the movie doesn't come on until after lunch. That's why we're taught to pass the magazines before. Well, I didn't spoil everything, Jane, but I don't think we really want to watch the movie. You're kidding. You don't want to watch the movie. It's the first run. Nevertheless, you see, we it's are on our... Lemon. But, Jane, we really don't oh, want I'm to... I'm afraid I'm just going to have to insist that you watch the movie. I mean, all of our advertising is built around it and everything. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we'll watch the movie. Oh, thank you, sir. You're so kind. <laughs> really is my lucky day. A whole afternoon with two charming men. Two? Yeah, two. You and Jack Lennon. <laughs> and so, sir, it is for all these reasons that I ask your daughter's hand in marriage. Oh, Cheralina. Papa. It's what we have always wanted for our Catherine. Just a moment, Mama. A moment? For what, Papa? I have been asked a question by Mr. Morley. I need time to make answer. <laughs> time to make answer? Katie, it's your future. I will not make fast decision. 
And I'm sure your brothers will agree with me. Papa, please, it's not polite. Give the answer. Mama, how can I give answer when I don't know what answer is going to be? Now, please be quiet so I can think. <laughs> did not mention your health. Why? Papa, please. Oh, it's quite all right, Kitty. He has every right to ask. I have both red and white corpuscles in the proper proportion. I, uh, I sleep well, digest my food easily, and my teeth are all my own. In other words, he's a perfect physical specimen. Please, give the answer now. Hey, give the answer when I am ready, Mama. Now, Mr. Morley, um... Do you own your own home? I do. Free and clear? Not quite. Like most people in Washington, I do have a mortgage. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, just how much is the mortgage? Papa, that is a personal thing. So is giving daughter's hand in marriage personal? <laughs> the bank holds a mortgage on my home to the amount of $30,000. Him. <laughs> it is not considered unusual in Washington, D.C., sir. Well, uh, you got life insurance? I do. At the present, my beneficiaries are my sons and my mother. Once I marry Katie, naturally, that will change. Mm. And uh, your salary, how much is that? Papa, you have no right to ask. Well, as a matter of fact, Katie, he has every right. As a citizen of Minnesota, he helps to pay it. <laughs> as citizen of Minnesota, I am proud to do my share. <laughs> how much? $30,000 a year, sir. Well, his nice salary we pay him. <laughs> All right. All right, then? You give your permission? All right, I will go in the kitchen and consider what answer must be. <laughs> Papa. Mama. Of course, Papa must consider answer. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, he must have his moment. Yeah. Papa is always Papa. Come, I will get the vine. Well, did Len do a good job? Oh, very good. I was proud. <laughs> Thank you. All in all, I, I do think it went rather well. Here's Cheryl Lilla. What? Mr. Morley. Thank you. I think you can call me Glenn, too. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Boys? To the happy couple. To the happy couple. Thank you. Thank you all so much. And to the Holstroms. To Mrs. Holstrom. Oh. And to Mr. Holstrom. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> talk, talk, talk. Skull. Skull. <laughs> Papa, you've reached a decision. Yeah, I have reached a decision. So, Papa? So, I have considered carefully. Yes, sir. I have considered, for example, that uh, every two years, you are out of a job. <laughs> well, if you mean by that, sir, that every two years I am up for election, you're quite correct. <laughs> Mr. Morley, you are a fine man. Thank you, sir. You are good and honest, and you're not afraid of hard work. I'm glad that you approve. But. Yeah, Papa. But. <laughs> Mr. Morley has mother to take care of and two sons to take care of and put through school. He has big mortgage payment and every month is insurance premium. Consider that next year he will be out of a job. <laughs> and don't think it is right now for him to take on financial obligation of new wife. <laughs> 
So, Mr. Morley, my answer to you about Katie's hand is, I have much fear. Nay. <laughs> Nay? Nay? Yo. Nay. <laughs> permission. No, but you would be happier with his blessing, wouldn't you? No, I would. <laughs> well, it was very nice of you to come here and ask Papa for my hand. I'm sorry it turned out so badly. Perhaps your mother's trying to convince him to change his mind right now. I don't know. Once Papa takes a stand, he's as stubborn as a, a pig-headed mule. Oh, very good. <laughs> now you've invented a whole new animal. I did not mean to be funny. Oh, come on, Katie. I'm sure your father's only trying to do what is best for you. No, I think Papa's trying to do what's best for Papa. What do you mean? Well, asking him permission, call attention to him, and he just loves attention. You may have noticed. Yeah, on one or two occasions. <laughs> but in this situation, he gets more attention for himself if he says nay than if he says ya, yeah, right? Promise me something, will you? Never understand your husband that well. The children, yes, but never your husband. I promise. If I do, I'll uh, keep it to myself. Your papa. He has a big, stubborn Swedish head. <laughs> oh, Mama, you have no luck with him? None. I even threatened to divorce him. Oh, Mrs. Holstrom. Oh, it's all right. Papa knows I never would. We have to leave tomorrow, and I guess it will have to be without his blessing. Your mama has one more idea how maybe we could change Papa's mind. How? Then Papa can pop up the chest. He is a happy man. Maybe you noticed that. I noticed. Yeah. The puffier, the happier. And you have an idea how to puff him up? Yeah. But I will have to telephone to Emily Gustafson and Hilda Bjorn. Well, they were my two best friends during high school. But what could they do, Mama? Uh, they could be a big help. <laughs> Curtain going up. <laughs> now, I, I wonder who that can be. A, at this hour. Five o'clock is natural time for anybody to call. Yeah, but I can still wonder who. <laughs> Emily, Emily Gustafson. Look, Papa, look who is here. Emily Gustafson. Good afternoon, Emily. Good afternoon, Mr. Holstrom. I heard that Katie was here with her bow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if he does not turn out to be her ex-bow. <laughs> hey, they are out taking a walk around the farm. My mama, the fibber. <laughs> uh, sit down, Emily. Thank you. Uh, they will be right back. <laughs> My papa says the men at the Grange meeting were talking about the congressman. Oh? And what congressman would that be, Emily? My congressman Morley, of course. Oh, yeah, you hear that, papa? At the Grange meeting, they talk about Mr. Morley. Mm. And, uh, and, and what did they say, Emily, about congressman Morley? <laughs> that they will be glad when his present term is up. Every two years, out of a job. <laughs> they want the congressman out of the House of Representatives so they can run him for the Senate. Oh, instead, they wonder. Did you hear that, Papa? Think of that. Senator Glenn Morley. Senator Morley? You can call me Glenn. <laughs> it's true, Emily. They want to run him for Senator. Yeah, that's what I heard. Think of that, Papa. You would be Papa-in-law to a member of the United States Senate. <laughs> Papa-in-law. <laughs> He's beginning to puff up nicely. Wait till Hilda gets there. He'll be a regular Papa. <laughs> uh, 
Salary for Senate is good. You know this, Emily? I understand it is the same as for congressmen. Oh. <laughs> but Senator is elected for six years, Papa. Six nice long years. <laughs> in the, in the bjorn. <laughs> Look who else dropped by, Papa. Good afternoon, Mr. Holster. Good afternoon, Hilda. Well, <laughs> fancy meeting you here, Emily. Yeah, small world. <laughs> Katie home? Uh, she and the next senator from the state of Minnesota are out taking a walk around the farm. <laughs> senator? That's not what I heard. Oh? You're smart. Did you hear, Hilda? My papa says the men at the feed and grain store were talking about running him for president. <laughs> president? Of what? <laughs> of the United States. All of them? <laughs> sure. <laughs> When someone says president, it's uh, logical to think of all United States. All right with you if I redo the blue room? <laughs> think of that. You would be papa-in-law to the president of the whole United States. Him. Him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good people of these United States, we would now like to introduce my son-in-law, Glenn Morley, your new president, who you have just elected. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I owe it all to my father-in-law, Lars Holstrom. <laughs> As state of Virginia is proud to be mother of presidents, I am proud to be papa-in-law to this one. <laughs> and now it's time to give oath of office to president of United States. His Holstrom family Bible. <laughs> now, Mr. Chief Justice of Whole Supreme Court, it is time to administer oath of office to Lars Holstrom's son-in-law. <laughs> on the Bible, please. <laughs> I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of Papa-in-law to President of the United States. <laughs> Best to my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> Are you sure? Let us know what happened. Oh, you're yeah, sure. And thank you very much. <laughs> and give my love to your sweet mama. Uh, Papa? Papa? Hmm? Glenn and I would like to talk to you when you have a moment. You have a moment now. We've been thinking, and you're absolutely right. What about? About my marrying Katie, sir. I really can't afford a wife. With all its press and obligations, as you so wisely pointed out. So, uh, I will just have to give the ring back to you. Wait, wait! What is it, Papa? I, I, it, uh, it's big decision. We should talk some more. What else is there to say, sir? You've already said it all. Maybe I did not consider from all angles. What are other angles, Papa? Other angles? Oh, my. Oh, oh, for one thing, now that you're engaged to be his wife, he can stop your salary as governess. Yeah, I never thought of that. And, and you can get part-time job on weekend to help out more. Uh, gas station, maybe. I never thought of that one either. Man has to live by his wits in this world, son. <laughs> and when emergency comes up, who do you ask for help? 
Lars Holstrom, your papa in law is. <laughs> oh, Papa, that's very kind of you. Uh, and then someday, who knows? Maybe men in Grange like to have you run for senator. <laughs> Me, Mr. Holstrom? Is there better man? And then after that, who knows? Maybe men in feed and grain store decide you should be president. Of what? United States. All of them? All of them, sure. Why not? Oh, president of the United States makes good money. About 100000 a year. Well, then what are you worrying about finances for? A man who can't get along on $100,000 can get along on nothing. Oh, wow, Mr. Goldstrom. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves. That's uh, 100000 is plenty, believe oh. me. Then, Lars, we got good news, the best news you can imagine. Katie is going to marry my son-in-law, the president. <laughs> Mr. 